The United States is one of the world's major producers of military technology, and they have every reason to be. With a growth in weaponry development by their primary adversaries all around the world, with Russia and China leading the way. Several advanced new technologies are being developed to keep the country ahead of its competitors in terms of preparing for the defense of its borders and those of its allies. Recently, Kratos Defense and Security Solutions of California revealed a rendering of Thanatos, its much-anticipated and most advanced drone. The rendering was published as part of the company's financial results and future projections. Before we continue, please click the subscribe button to become a member of our community and view more films like this one. On the ground and in the air, warfare has taken on various forms. Drone-based warfare is currently the most common. The news has spread far and wide about how useful drones can be to any military forces that can deploy them, and these new drones are expected to be companions to the upgraded fighter jets being developed as part of the company's Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, ambitions. Defense experts believe that possessing air power will change the terrain of future wars. So, the U.S. Air Force is conducting future air power planning based on a hypothetical fleet of 1,000 autonomous sophisticated drones with cutting-edge technology. This could also include 200 next-generation air dominance stealth combat fighters. These advanced drones are likely to be partnered with certain F-35s, creating an interesting balance in their air force that includes both crewed and uncrewed assets. As revealed by Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall in a keynote address today at the 2023 Air and Space Forces Association's Warfare Symposium in Aurora, Colorado, the project has been dubbed the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs, as well as its future sixth-generation crewed combat aircraft. According to the reports coming out of the event, the Air Force is developing a family of systems for the next generation of air dominance. The new version is expected to make combat efforts more cost-effective and efficient. The future crewed combat aircraft and CCAs are part of the Air Force's larger NGAD effort, which includes work on new weaponry, sensors, networking and battle management capabilities, upgraded jet engines and other technologies. The CCA fleet is estimated to number up to 1,000 drones, which will be partnered with 200 NGAD platforms and 300 F-35s. The Air Force's current F-22 Raptor stealth fighter fleet is around the size of the 200 NGAD combat jets. It makes sense given that the Air Force has already declared that the F-22 will be phased out and that the NGAD will replace the fleet. F-35s are also thought to be worthy successors to the 22s but they have the added benefit of highly advanced drones that will not be coupled with two-to-one combat fighters. The aforementioned CCAs, as well as other types of advanced drones controlled by the U.S., can still act on their own, or even better, in conjunction with non-stealthy types, such as old fighters and support platforms like tankers and airlifters to provide major capability enhancements. The Secretary suggested partnering drones with B-21 Raider stealth bombers during a roundtable session. Raider bombers are known to have a high operational range, and as such, integrating CCAs to ensure the fleet has a significant broader force structure and infrastructure changes may be cost-effective. This is because the cost of creating more crewed bombers will fall, and as the Air Force transitions to a totally unmanned fleet, that number will fall even lower. In terms of total airframes, the present plot, which would create 1,000 super-powered drones, will result in a fleet that is larger and more powerful than the Air Force's fleet of F-22 Raptor stealth fighters, F-15E Strike Eagle combat jets, and A-10 Warthog ground attack aircraft combined. Furthermore, this quota is more than three times the number of MQ-9 Reaper drones that the Air Force now owns. However, in terms of performance, drones are likely to be more focused on accomplishing a significantly smaller number of mission sets. This may be important in order to keep purchase and maintenance costs low. Naturally, producing one drone would cost a fraction of the price of an F-35 fighter jet. This permits the Air Force to have a larger fleet while still staying within its budget constraints. This is far superior to when the Force was completely committed to purchasing current generation aircraft such as the F-35A and F-15EX, as well as designing future NGAD combat fighters. Drones don't need any fancy plating to give significant operational advantages. 
Remotely controlled CCAs can be used as targeting pods, electronic warfare pods, or weaponry that would ordinarily be carried beneath the wings of crewed aircraft. They are literally weapons with wings that perform better while simultaneously reducing the risk to our pilots. Their placement as pods may also make it easier for them to be attached to crewed platforms, which was the whole point of the Air Force-sponsored partnering projects. This is consistent with prior loyal wingman conceptions of operation for drones operating in close proximity to crewed platforms. However, the Air Force and many of the industry partners it has already been working with on CCA and other related elements of the NGAD initiative have indicated that they want to move beyond this construct and into a more collaborative environment where these drones can eventually perform various tasks with greater autonomy. Furthermore, it is unclear how many different types of CCAs the service might be interested in acquiring what actual inventory targets officials may be looking at right now to meet various tiers of requirements, and how longer-term planning might affect the size and composition of crewed combat jet fleets. The Air Force is evidently still fine-tuning the specifications for its future CCA drones, including what capabilities they might have and how they will be used. That initiative is also utilizing work on crewed, uncrewed teaming, autonomy, and other related technologies that the Air Force and other elements of the United States military have been doing through a variety of separate projects. One of those that has been specifically mentioned is through the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's, or DARPA, Air Combat Evolution, or ACE program, as well as Boeing's division in Australia developing an advanced stealthy loyal wingman drone for the Royal Australian Air Force. That latter design is currently known as the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, and the Air Force has acquired at least one of these drones for testing reasons through the Pentagon. There's also the service's own Skyborg plan. Skyborg, as well as the Linked Autonomous Aircraft Experimentation, or AAX, testing effort. The project is focused on the deployment of an AI-driven computer brain and related systems aimed to deliver advanced autonomous capabilities to various tiers of aircraft. Of course, these are among the technologies currently being evaluated as of this moment. The military aims to utilize advanced drones that can fly great distances, attack intended targets, then return to base. This advances them to the level of fighter jets, but without the need for human pilots, and numerous providers are vying to make this a reality, which makes our previous point on their cost-effectiveness and reduced risk to human life even more appealing. Perhaps the most advanced drone that is on the cards is the Thanatos drone, named after the Greek mythological feature who personifies death. That sounds ominous, at least it should be so, to the enemies of the state. The drone has been in development since 2019. The project is championed by defense contractor Kratos Defense. The company has rendered a rather relatable design for the drone. Like other stealth designs, it is a tailless bird with a shovel snout and a platypus-like edge extending over the exhaust. It possesses recessive inlets and a steep chine line that will aid its ability to stay off enemy radar, while the covered tail is intended to keep it from being detected on infrared. The drone is going to be able to travel at supersonic speeds, and its diamond-shaped wings will help to reduce drag. We do not know much as of now about its weapons capabilities, as Kratos is holding all those cards close to their chest. Therefore, it is difficult to predict how it will be proposed. The U.S. Air Force logo is one obvious indicator from the rendering, which Kratos generally uses when marketing its drones to a certain branch of the military. The Thanatos is expected to become a part of the CCA program because of another development that has been made to the NGAD plan. The U.S. Air Force has stated that it intends to buy 1,000 unmanned aircraft to accompany its modern fighter jets as part of its collaborative combat aircraft program. In this function, a Thanatos would most likely act as a weapons truck, transporting air-to-air -air missiles for the fighters, carrying electronic warfare capabilities with B-21 Raiders, or even operating on their own. Work is yet to begin on this amazing drone, and still, the Air Force has welcomed competing designs for this program in the coming year, and work on the drones is expected to begin by 2025, as Kratos has also stated in its budgetary forecasts. Furthermore, the U.S. Navy intends to deploy advanced drones that can coordinate and work with other services, such as the Air Force. As a result, a Thanatos might make sense there as well, especially if the two services are searching for features like handing off control during operations. What do you think about the Air Force's plan with its new batch of advanced drones? 
What impact will it have on the country's plan to remain a force to be feared on the global scene? If you like what you see and want to be a part of our community, please hit that subscribe button and like our videos. We'll see you in the next one.